So I have had the wonderful blessing of turning 30. And I have to say that um, though I may not be where I thought I would be at this age, I am certainly happy with where I am. And I'm uh, especially happy for the lessons that got me to where I am now. And I'd like to share uh, some of my reflections of the things that I've learned uh, from my 20s. Love myself. Love myself, show up for myself, be accountable to myself, take care of myself, eat healthier, get an appropriate amount of sleep, exercise, visit the doctor, the dentist, the therapist, learn what it means to pursue and commit to the things I actually care about and not what I think I'm supposed to care about. Detaching from outcomes and allowing joy to flood in from the simple act of doing. Be secure in who I am. Be happy with who I am, not needing anything or anyone external for me to be happy. For those who do care for me, respect me and love me, I do appreciate it and I am grateful to have them in my life. But I have to do that for me first. I have to set the example, the standard and the boundaries. The ability to forgive myself. The ability to keep my word, self-promises, and using self-discipline as a form of love. Delayed gratification as a tool to not compromise on long-term goals for short-sighted impulses. The ability to sit with myself. The art of being alone, being at peace with myself, and feeling like I'm enough to be happy for the rest of my life. Though I know that we need people and that we can't get through life alone, I now understand that healthy relationships with family, friends, and partners stem from a place of security. Insecure people look for someone to complete them. And trust me, no one is good enough to do that. Everyone and everything external is to blame for their misfortune. However, secure people take accountability and they are much more primed to recognize good people and maintain those relationships because they're often reciprocal. They're not looking for people or things to complete them. They know it's their job to complete themselves. They know who they are and they're instead looking for who and what is compatible with who they are. Just start and finish. Don't sacrifice what's good enough for the endless pursuit of perfection. Practice makes perfect, so get the reps in. I don't know everything, and that's okay. That's the beauty of life, discovery, and learning something new, even if it's as simple as a different opinion or perspective. Just being open to the world of experiences and phenomenon that await me. These are growth opportunities. Also, don't judge people. I don't know their life or their experiences. My worldview is not the only one, so be sympathetic and considerate. My journey is mine. Uh, failure is a learning opportunity. We fail our way to success. It can't be skipped over. There is no right path or best path. There is only my path. Uh, no need to be resentful of my past or constantly compare my life to others. We are not the same. Even the people who grew up in the same household as me with the same parents are not the same as me. We are unique individuals with our own interests, our own strengths, weaknesses, perspectives, and circumstances. We're just going to approach life differently and get different results, and that's okay. What's for me is solely for me, and my journey can only reflect that reality. Not to say that we won't get to the same place, but my journey there won't perfectly reflect someone else's and theirs won't perfectly reflect mine because we are not the same. I am mindful of this on the matter of my craft in photography and videography, uh, my education, career, relationships. They're all unfolding in a timeline that is unique to me. I am not competing with anyone else. Life is not a race to the finish line or the top. I rather measure my success by being better than I was yesterday, embracing who I am and my uniqueness because it can really serve as a source of strength for myself and a testimony to others. Let shit go. 
No sense in ruining my own happiness and peace over something that won't even matter 30 minutes later. Don't allow a lot pettiness or fear uh, to rob me of my joy. Engage and detach. Spend time with the people I care about. I'm an introvert, but I am highly social with my inner circle. Even then, I still have to maintain a balance between being social and being reserved. I try to engage with and show up for uh, my loved ones as often as I am able. It can be as simple as shooting a text to check in on them, but it is completely fine and healthy to reserve time for me and miss things uh, so that I can recharge and be ready another time. Boundary setting really helped me fine tune that, which leads me into knowing uh, when it's time to detach. No one is perfect. We all have our flaws and fuck ups. Our family, friends, and partners are humans with their own past, experiences, and perhaps trauma to work through. I believe in offering grace and forgiveness. However, I have learned how to recognize when a relationship has become unhealthy and when to detach. I have found that maintaining an unhealthy relationship can develop and even deepen existing trauma. If I see that a person desires to make it work and desires to be a part of my life and it's mutual, uh, then we can work through that, but it doesn't necessarily have to be on my time. Creating space and distance for a period of healing, reflection, and shadow work could really prove to be helpful in cultivating a healthier relationship. Mind my coins. I made a ton of financial mistakes in my 20s. <laughs> But it is through those early failures, which some have longer term consequences. I have become better about budgeting, investing and avoiding lifestyle inflation. I'm still not perfect at it, but I definitely have put the right things in place to ensure that I am thinking of my future and planning accordingly. So, of course, that wasn't everything I learned in my 20s. Uh, I have so many other lessons that I didn't get to touch on or cover here. Uh, just for the sake of keeping this short. Uh, but if what I did share thus far was helpful to you, please press the like button. And if there's anything that you uh, think would be helpful to other people who are watching this video or uh, may want to discuss, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I'd be happy to check it out or start a dialogue down there with you. Uh, but uh, continue to work on you, continue to uh, go out there and learn new things. Thank you.